Hello, gorgeous souls. My name is Rochelle, and welcome to the DIY Affiliates and Collective's Soul Journey, Awakening in the Age of Aquarius. This channel is to help the Collective gain knowledge and raise awareness towards your own soul journey. I have gone through the stages of awakening and discovered my own soul journey, my soul's path, my purpose, and my passion. This channel is for the souls, the people, who are discovering their own soul journey and help to wake up and shake up the collective and help heal and become and evolve into a divine feminine or a divine masculine. Find your twin flame or soulmate, fulfill your contract, and discover your own journey. If you resonate with the gift of awakening and want to become a more powerful manifester, then this channel is for you. You are in the right place and this is the right time. In this video, I am going to be talking to you about awakening to the twin flame journey. What a soul kit, what a soul contract is, what a twin flame is, the difference between a twin flame and a soulmate, the different stages that you would go through when you are awakening in the twin flame journey and you are on your path. Everything that I am about to teach you is from my own experience and also doing tons of research and gaining other knowledge, but using discernment to see what is true and what is important and will help you as collective souls in search of this knowledge. Do you have a twin flame or are you just seeing this for the first time? you can let me know in the comments. Any information you would like to share with the collective watching this video. This video is in two parts and it will be long, but you will also find timestamps and also what you call chapters or moments in which you can jump to in order to get the information that you're searching for. If you are new to my videos, then please click on the subscription button and ding the notification bell so you will be notified of all new content. Are you seeing 1111? 555777? This could be a message from your higher self to your lower self to wake up and shake up your life and to become aware of something that the Spirit is trying to tell you. The Divine is trying to get your attention. If you are just awakening to the twin flame journey, then you are in for a roller coaster ride. <laughs> one that will never be forgotten. You may try, and your twin flame may try, but energetically and telepathically, you are connected in a special place in the five-dimensional universe. Now, if you're not familiar with what awakening is, or you've just heard about it, I created a video just for you. The six stages of awakening in the age of Aquarius and you can find it at the top right hand corner of this video. Are you feeling a little shaken up but aware of something? Maybe you may be a little bit awake or you may even be awake or you may be wanting to awake. Now you've met someone and you're unsure of your feelings. You're unsure of what you are feeling for someone and why you are feeling it. It may be your twin flame. It may be your twin flame. If this is the knowledge that your soul has been searching for, then this video is for you. First of all, you might be asking yourself, well, what is a twin flame? So a twin flame is where a high level enlightened soul reaches the highest point to its evolution and ascension. This enlightened soul then decides that it is going to incarnate on earth in order to help the collective energies evolve and shift into this new world energy. 
it is at the highest level and the highest dimension possible. It decides, the soul decides, that it is going to split itself in two, to incarnate into two bodies. Then the two parts of the one soul create a soul contract that they will meet in the next lifetime. That they will remember, journey together to help the earth and the collective energies to evolve. Now I mentioned soul contract, but do you know what a soul contract is? And are there more than one soul contract? The answer is yes, there are more than one soul contract. There are three main soul contracts. One is the twin flame soul contract, the other is the soulmate soul contract, and the other is a karmic soul contract. So what is a soul contract? And this is an agreement between the two souls or twin souls to meet again in the next lifetime. Each soul contract is different, and this is where you find, you hear the word soul mates. And there are three distinct soul contracts. The soul mate soul contract, the twin flame soul contract, and the karmic soul contract, in which I will talk about in another video. Each soul contract is different, and this is where you find, you hear the word soul mates. So what is a soulmate? What is the difference between a soulmate and a twin flame? The soulmate and the twin flame are both a soulmate relationship. A twin flame is a form of a soul connection. So you may be familiar with the soulmate, but here is the main difference. We can have many different soulmates, and in fact we do. The soulmates can be romantic, platonic, or even family members. Soulmates can travel in and out of our lives, but are always connected to us in some way. But when it comes to twin flames, we have only one. Our twin flame has the same soul heart. Twin flames share a core soul frequency. And there are people who will refer to this as their own song. They can hear each other in this frequency. A shared energetic frequency. And this will then create space for only the two halves of the one enlightened soul to exist energetically and powerfully in the universe together. Twin flame relationships have a higher purpose. They are designed to enable deep individual healing and spiritual growth while still being a beacon of unconditional love that forges a pathway to help awaken and heal the collective energies as we shift from the 3D to the 5D. It is important to remember that it doesn't matter the age difference of the twin flames or the cultural differences or any other 3D difference. If this person is truly your twin flame, you will immediately know this and you will be in for the ride of your life. Just like awakening and the six stages, just like awakening and the six stages of awakening, you are in for a ride. A wild ride. One that will never be forgotten, can never be forgotten. As much as you try to forget, you will be connected to your twin flame energetically and telepathically in a special frequency and place of your own in the 5D universe. You will start to feel more energy than you've ever felt in your life. And this energy will be pulling at you in an intense way, especially when your twin flame is going through their own awakening and facing their own trials and tribulations. 
you will, be, you will be able to feel each other's energy at a higher and more powerful level than you ever have with anybody else in your life. Question to you is, did you meet your twin flame and how do you feel? When you first met this person, and even if it could have been just for a few seconds, or even a minute, or an hour, or you've known them a while, when you look into their eyes, when your eyes connect, is there this intense feeling of knowing, hey, I know you, I know you from somewhere, is because your twin flame is part of the high energetic enlightened soul that has been split into two bodies and now this is the two halves that have made this soul contract connecting for the first time so you may wonder what happens when twin flames don't recognize each other sometimes twin flames don't recognize each other immediately and once they acknowledge their connection there is a sense of safety completeness and unity unmatched by any other relationship and even a soulmate relationship they feel at home and completely at ease my understanding and from my knowledge there's a number of stages that the twin flame goes through and this is the next topic, the seven stages of the Twin Flame journey. And I'm going to explain the, sta the stages using the tarot cards that and the energy that resonates with the part of the journey and stage that you are in. One, looking for, searching for, needing to find that perfect mate, the one. You have this strange sensation that someone who is out there, but you don't quite know where or when they will appear in your life. It may be at a time you don't even know what a twin flame is, but you just want them to appear and make your life complete. You are complete in yourself, but you may have traumas that need to be healed to become whole. Learn how to love yourself and also to give unconditional love. Not realize this at the time, but you are preparing yourself for the arrival of your own twin flame or soulmate. This is on an unconscious level. The stage two. Meeting or seeing your twin flame at some point in your life. Having dreams or seeing synchronicities and angel numbers. Asking deeper observational questions. This is what I call the conjuncture of time. A combination of circumstances or events that are eventually producing a crisis or what you can refer to as the awakening. Remember that the one soul, this enlightened soul, is now in two bodies and has agreed to a soul contract and a meeting at this time. So this is predetermined in the soul contract. Now you start having feelings of love and it is profound. You feel wonderful. Sometimes you feel a little bit of anxiety, intoxication. And for some people it may be uh, almost like a sense of curiosity and a desire that you want to know this person better. You don't know what it is exactly. But somehow this person is extremely special. I even sense that this person is going to impact your life and play a very important role, but you don't know why. This is very magical and all the pieces are now all coming together and falling into place. All of the seven energy chakras are starting to be activated and come online. Your awakening is also triggering your Twin Flames awakening. Both the masculine and feminine energies are connected to both. We as a soul have both masculine and feminine energies. The Twin Flame connection, it is usually referred to as Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine as part of the soul that is split into two bodies. In flame relationships have a higher purpose and this is only the beginning of your twin flame journey. It's time to get on that roller coaster 
And even though you may even try to forget or deny this connection, you and your twin flame will be energetically and tele telepathically meeting in the 5D universe. Your intuition is getting stronger. Of course, you will start to feel the energy more in your life. The energy will be pulling at you in an intense way, especially when your twin flame is awakening and facing trials and tribulations in their own 3D life. You can feel each other's energy at a higher and more powerful level than with anybody ever before. Stage three, and this is what I call falling in love. The two of cups in the tarot energy in the upright. And the definition is partnerships, unity, love, compatibility, happy couples, potential soulmates, relationships, harmony, balance, equality, attraction, connection, proposals, engagement, and marriage. When you finally accept and surrender to your feeling, then you fall hard, harder than you've ever felt in your life. And this is also something, something that deeply impacts your life. You can lose your breath or you can feel butterflies in your stomach. When you get to know your twin flame better, you fall more and more deeply in love with them. You feel like you are drifting on a cloud together. You might feel a little disorientated, lovesick, or unlike yourself. And you might try to resist the attraction, but eventually you will accept the reality that you are deeply in love with this person. You can also have those feelings for soulmates and karmic energies. Of the stage three, I call this the fairy tale relationship, the lover's card energy in the tarot upright. Major choices, love, soulmates, kindred spirits, perfect union, partnerships, relationships, romance, desire, sensual connections, shared principles, and moral code. As the both of you eventually have made your feelings known and enter into a relationship, life will feel like a fairy tale. The honeymoon stage. Your relationship will be perfect in every possible way. It'll seem as though your twin flame fulfills every single need you have and everything that you've ever possibly wanted. And the attraction between you is out of this world. Brings us to stage four of the awakening, in which I refer to the devil tarot card energy and the nine of swords tarot card energy in the upright. But I'm not going to read the description because I'm not comfortable with putting this knowledge out to the universe about the devil tarot card. But I will read the nine of swords tarot card energy in the upright. It's not as bad. Fear, anxiety, terror, common negativity, deep unhappiness, stress, burden, etc. I do not like using negative words because our words carry vibrations and this is what we are putting out to the universe. Twin flames trigger each other and bring the facets of their life that are hidden in the shadow. Those parts of ourselves that we refuse to recognize. So we refuse to recognize these parts. We stuff them all down and the, the ego is in control and it's just saying, don't think about that, stuff that down. You don't need to say that. Those parts that we refuse to recognize and do not want to take ownership up of and heal ourselves are brought, brought out into the open. Twin flames mirror each other. So, as an example, if you had had an abandonment issues from childhood, that may have manifested into codependence. Your twin flame will be independent and self-governing, triggering your abandonment issues and bringing them to the surface for healing. Because remember, part of the twin flame journey is healing and ascension, just like part of the awakening in which the soul brings everything up to be healed in this lifetime, it can also unveil past lifetime dramas. Your relation, suddenly there's a, there are differences in opinions, in tastes, in likes, in personalities. When these start to emerge, 
they are the core wounds that are coming to the surface because twin flames soul split in two shares and mirrors our deepest needs our desires and our dreams but it also mirrors our shadow selves for example if you are an emotionally repressed person and slow to anger, your twin flame will likely be emotionally explosive and quick-tempered. If you tend to be quiet and low-key, your twin flame will mostly likely be outspoken and loud. In this way, our twin flames challenge us, aggravating our own insecurities. This can be very antagonizing, destructive, and very painful. This will cause arguments and fights in this stage. This may seem cataclysmic at the time when it's happening, but the truth is that it's necessary for our growth. Without being aggravated or antagonized by our mirror side, we would not experience our awakening and our, our spiritual growth. If we cannot see ourselves, if we cannot see ourselves for who we truly are, without our ego, then we are not awake and still living in an illusion. No change. We are failing to grow in knowledge and awareness, and that is the food you need for your soul. This is very hard and will create turbulence in your relationship. It will seem like everything is falling apart. And this is where you get into stage five, the runner and the chaser. Stage five, the runner and the chaser. The runner and the chaser, I refer to the tarot card, the eight of swords in the upright. And a bit of the description of this card is feeling trapped, hands tied, restricted, victimized, paralyzed by fear, hopelessness, etc. Do not like using negative words. In this stage, we will first talk about the runner. The runner often represents the more wounded younger soul, unhealed intimidated by higher levels of spirituality and very ego driven but how does the twin flame runner really feel about the chaser once the connection is made the runner part of the twin flame thinks of the chaser all the time each day that passes but is still running from the physical union in the 3d aspect of the twin flame journey but that does not change how you feel about each other because the twin flame encounter or connection for the very first time upsets the balance of your energy on both sides separation is necessary to this contract it may seem strange but one or both of the twin flames cannot handle the amount of love or unconditional love that one gives and this is because something is not healed yet in that part of the soul to heal the separation is needed and necessary but even in separation the twin flames will continue to mirror each other and begin to heal any types of emotional wounds, they both heal, and this is healing uh, in their own life, on their own timelines. So during this separation, there will also be barriers that will be put up, such as the karmic soulmate, which also is a soul contract, and will be sent into the lives of the twin flames to keep the twin flames separate so that they don't remember or recognize that they actually have a soul journey together that they actually are here for a purpose to help to elevate and help to raise the level of awareness as we move from the three-dimensional into the five-dimensional a karmic soulmate is there to teach you a lesson and this lesson will help you heal and become whole so now the question is how long is this separation take and it could be the case of coming together separating coming together separating until both parts of the soul are healed and this could take years 
this could be months and years and this is where the roller coaster ride comes in even though the twin flame journey is not a toxic soul contract it is a very hard soul contract and there will be many obstacles and barriers to overcome as the relationship is progressing there start to become many tensions that are showing themselves it's very common for one partner sometimes both to emotionally or physically withdraw or run away now this is referred to as a runner but it also can be compared to as a cat and mouse that sometimes involves emotional shutdowns or silent treatments or other times it can be permanent termination of the relationship if this happens the relationship will not last it will either be strengthened or it will fall apart and this will depend on each half and at their uh, their e emotional and spiritual maturity and what level they are in their ascensions well, twin flames can actually be confused sometimes because sometimes one partner will leave for years and then for whatever reason return and start the cycle over so now this brings me into the chaser the definition of the chaser what is a chaser and how does a twin flame chaser act as a chaser you don't care if your twin flame has a lot of warning signals you aren't even discouraged by the fact that they've run back to their ex or their family you have a lot of faith in them and you know in your heart they'll come back to you in other words you have a determined belief in your twin flame relationship now remember you could be in separation you may not be in union or reunion with your twin flame in the three-dimensional world but in the five-dimensional world you are still energetically telepathically connected and you are still still mirroring each other and you are still healing each other so the chaser soul maturity level the chaser tends to be more mentally and emotionally mature partner of the two the runner can also become the chaser and I will talk about that in, in another video which brings us into stage six the surrender and dissolution in which I refer to the tarot card the nine of sword the definition earlier and I also refer to the tarot card the four of wands so it goes from the nine of swords to the four of wands tarot energy which is wish fulfillment and the definition of this tarot card happy families coming home celebrations celebration surprises parties weddings events feelings feeling welcome community or family coming together community spirit teamwork and success and also this resonates with the 639 hertz of of also opening up the heart chakra so now we have been on this roller coaster ride for a number of months maybe a number of years because the twin flame journey is not an easy one and sometimes you may not even have reunion with your twin flame in this lifetime the shadow self and the wounds and the insecurities have been all exposed you may have been a chaser or you may have been the runner and you may have experience so now you will now experience a period of surrender this is after all of the shadows this is all of after all of the work and the healing of your relationship has been brought up to the surface and healed then you may experience a period of surrender but after so much misery distress provocation you both begin to open up about your wounds and insecurities and you start to heal also letting go of your ego allowing your soul to expand as the ego is less in power all of the social programmings and the lessons we have learned from childhood and about nature about spirituality and how we have been influenced by other institutions other people in our life now we are more influenced by intuition mindfulness and soul expansion you begin learning how to work through your differences the maturity of your relationship deepens and becomes stronger this is oneness this is the lovers in the tarot card deck card energy it talks about many choices love soulmates kindred spirits perfect unions partnerships relationships romance desire intimate connections and shared values 
As the problems in your relationship become increasingly easier to deal with, you will enter a period of soul reunion. It is common for you to both now start to find a shared meaning or a passion or a cause that brings you a mutual sense of fulfillment. As you come into union, you will you both will have the divine inspiration to grow and become the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. There has been a transformation and parts of the two parts of the one soul now have grown. Now the two of you are together, you can ignite untapped potential and passion to help the collective in the planetary ascension in this age of Aquarius. Forgiveness, understanding, empathy, and patience are learned, and you remember and gain ancient knowledge of the soul contract and your twin soul journey together. You learn how to grow together as one soul. You no longer mirror each other, but are in harmonious relationship with unconditional love. And the twin flames become master manifestors, very confident, using all of their skills to co-create with the universe, their energy, their intelligence, their hearts, other emotions. Everything is aligning. So as you two are interacting with the universe, you become what is known as a power couple. Having unconditional love for one another and the collective to help mankind shift into the 5D. Twin flames are called for a collective purpose to elevate collective consciousness and through shared purpose through which they can directly help humanity or consciousness, the collective consciousness to wake up to their true potential. So I have been talking about the 3D, the dense reality that we are living in, our physical reality. And I'm talking about making the shift to the 5D reality. So what happened to the fourth dimension in life? Well, the spiritual world is the fourth. Is the, the spiritual world is a world of the fourth dimension. We are trapped in physical third dimension because we live in physical bodies. We are actually powerhouses of unlimited power when we start to live in the fourth dimension. And as we grow in awareness, we, be, we begin to touch on the power that we are receiving when we are living more in the fourth dimensional. The fourth dimensional is the inner reality. And while this happens, the other three aspects of the mind, the body, and the external world do not disappear. You're still here. You're still in your physical body. But we learn how to manage our energy and expand our consciousness more and more. And and we learn how we are going to live in the fifth dimensional energy, in the fourth dimension, in this existence. So as Einstein said, the fourth dimension, what is it? It is time. We move through just as inevitably as we move through space. And via the rules of the Einstein's relativity, our motion through space and time are inextricably inseparable from one another. In spirituality, Time does not exist. I can be anywhere in my past life, my present life. I can be in an unknown reality. Our thoughts, actions, words, intentions create our reality. Anything and anybody can energetically affect your life. So now that brings us to the question is, what is the 5D in spirituality? The fifth dimension is the superconscious, an area that some say is maybe like a clear white light or simultaneous knowledge insight, intuition, and end in all forms, in time and space, and of a divine consciousness in the universe. The fifth dimension cannot be seen in the physical or tangible way, but it exists outside of the average human sights. I mean, I, I know many of you would so wonder if all twin flames reach re reunion in this lifetime. It truly depends on the awareness of the twin flame. Of the circumstances of their connection, all twin flames are destined, could reach union or reunion in this lifetime, yes. But we have something called free will. And as although you will always be connected to your twin flame in this life and in the next and the next lifetime after that, it's up to you to choose. It's up to you to choose. It's up to each individual part of the enlightened one soul that has divided itself into two parts on whether on what they do and if they find their own life's purpose 
and if they find their own direction or their own life's journey and if they find this together. The next part of the video is a twin flame video where I use the ancient sulfur show tones and frequencies of 432 hertz and 639 hertz to open up the heart chakra, increase your intuition, and help guide you through your own twin flame awakening story. Thank you for being a part of my personal journey, and if you have anything you would like to share with the collective, then please leave a message. Any comments would be helpful. Any information or knowledge you would like to share. Let us all work together to create a community of like-minded people who are willing and able to help each other in a shared goal of raising our awareness and making the shift from 3D to 4D to 5D and starting on our own soul journey together. Stay safe, enjoy the video, and I look forward to hanging out with you in the next video.
Thank you.